Welcome to Solo Shop First and today we are going to be having a look at the Luke Skywalker from Endor from uh, The Return of the Jedi. Um, this is part of the uh, 50th anniversary releases and also part of the possibly them completing the full 96 from the originals but uh, I really like this car back, really like it. Um, I think the figure certainly in the bubble looks nice. Um, it comes with obviously those accessories. You've got the lightsaber, the lightsaber hilt, and uh, that blaster. Um, seems a bit weird that he does come with that blaster because that's the one I think that he pulls out of the guard's hand using the force at Jabba's palace. It's certainly that style. Um, but look, getting an extra blaster, not going to complain. The figure in the bubble looks nice. Uh, the Luke Skywalker Ender on a nice orange name pill. And again, the figure in the background against the orange name pill. That looks really, really good. Um, the actual image of Mark Hamill of Luke Skywalker is picked straight from the film on Endor. And that's a really, really nice looking, nice looking card on the front. Obviously, you've got the Kenner logo uh, on the bottom. So, yeah, it's a really nice looking card. Um, the only issue that I have with the card, uh, like everybody else has mentioned, these are from the uh, thinner card stock, but we are getting that rectified now um, via Hasbro for any of the new releases. I believe they're coming on the thick card stock, so that's great news. Um, let's have a quick look at the back of the card. Okay, on the back of the card, um, not masses to report here. Um, it talks about the, the three figures that are in that line. You've got the Death Star droid, the Tusken Raider in the middle there, um, which I believe... There have been some issues with. I, I had one and um, the hand, when trying to just sort of remove the hands, the hand snapped off, which is very disappointing um, because I love those Tuscan Raiders and would like to have sort of army built them a little bit. But who knows down the line with the success of these um, packs that they're putting out now in terms of these four packs, whether it be the Stormtroopers, Rebel Fleet Troopers, Shore Troopers, Maybe there's the idea that they can put some Tuscans in there. So, um, and I've gone a little bit off tangent there, but anybody uh, watching, let me know your thoughts on that. And then you've got Luke itself. Um, now this is VC198. One thing I do quite like on the back of the cards is the, the, the fifth from the 50th anniversary. It does obviously talk to you about the full timelines um, from the film. So um, from all the different films, all the different series, whether they be... Um, you know, real life film or, or, or animated, so that's quite nice. A lot of the legal information at the bottom, which again, I know I and everybody else has moaned about. Does it really need to be that prominent? Probably not, but it is what it is. Okay, so that is VC198, nice looking card. Um, now let's get this figure out of the box and have a look. Okay, so here is the figure out of the box and on the spinner. Um, First impressions, well, like I said, really even through the bubble, nice looking figure. Um, I really like the poncho that you've got on this figure. It does come with that elasticated waistband, as you can probably see there. And uh, the colouring on the poncho is really, really good. I think his the helmet detail is, is, is nice. Um, overall... Yeah, very impressive looking figure. Um, so let's uh, have a look at him and his articulation. Okay, so yeah, uh, as I said from first impressions, um, nice looking figure. Um, as part of the modern vintage collection, obviously it is fully articulated. I won't go through all of that with you because I know there's lots of other people that do that. You do obviously have a, um, a swivel head. Um, there's a sort of slight hinge, or I should say there's a slight movement there as well, uh, up and down. Um, you've got um, shoulders, elbows, all fully articulated, and the same at the wrist. And I think he might, let's just have a quick look. He might have a look. Does he have a hinge at the wrist? Yeah, I think he actually does. Um, Swivel waist, articulation at the knees, and obviously at the feet. Um, so a nice looking figure. It does actually come, things I mentioned from the front of the card with a couple of other accessories. You've got his handcuffs there. Um, you've got the 
pull it out with the lightsaber hilt. So if you can see that in more detail, um, that's quite nicely detailed, actually. Nice silver, black, and what appears to be a little bit of brown stroke bronze. And um, obviously the hilt does fit onto the figure at the waist. Um, and yes, then the final piece of the... Uh, the final piece that you get in there is that blaster, which as I said, I think that's certainly the one that he pulls out of the holster um, just before he falls down into the pit in uh, Jabba's palace. So it seems not odd. I mean, I'm not saying it's not odd, but it, yeah, it doesn't necessarily fit with the figure on Endor, but hey, who's moaning about that? <laughs> so all in all, a really nice figure. I suppose the one... Um, I wouldn't even say it's a gripe, really. This is very much a throwback to how the original figure was in that 96. It didn't have a removable helmet. But, um, you know, I know there's a lot of people that have sort of said, oh, they would like a removable helmet. And, yeah, that would have been nice. Or, alternatively, they could have given us a, a another head, for example, like they did with the Din Djarin. Um, however, if you've got um, any other figures, obviously, sort of from... Luke in this line, I think if you look at um, the Luke Skywalker from Endor, the VC-23, I believe that that head um, can be uh, can be popped on this figure. So let's just see if that works. Okay, so yeah, it does work. That is uh, a compl just a straight head swap with the VC-23. And um, that looks nice. Um, you know, if you do want to, if you do have that figure um, and you do want him to appear as though he's not wearing his helmet, uh, that's also still a very, very good facial sculpt. So, um, yeah, so it works. You know, the head swap can be done, although it's a bit of a shame they didn't give us in the packaging. But again, that's a, a minor gripe. And the only other minor gripe I have with this figure, and it's not a, a massive gripe really, but it's those peg holes. Yeah, I have managed to get it on a stand, but they're really, really small. So... Um, other than that, it's a really good-looking figure, but let's put his original helmet back on. Okay, so here he is back with his uh, helmet on. Um, yeah, nothing more to say really on this. Nice-looking figure. If you do like um, indoor and you like making these sort of scenes, then it's probably a must-have to have from a figure point of view. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the, like, hit the like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming soon. And if you've got any questions or... I don't know, you want to ask us anything, just leave comments in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thanks ever so much. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.